Hi everybody, this is the Green Frog here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing episode 2 of my Scratch Let's Program series. And last episode, we left off where we had just finished the section where we had the frog, where he had gravity and everything, and we had just finished where if you go on the different level selects, the number up on the top left will change, which we'll use right now to make a cool little level select thing but before we do that what I was thinking is that these are red and we don't want just like before the frogs or before we have even done level one we don't want them just going on level four and starting it so what I'm thinking is we should make these same ones a different costume where it's green and then it'll only let you go through where it's green and when you beat a level unlock the next one so we should duplicate this and I think I think I should be able to just color it green, right? It's only letting me color the text and not the circle. I think that's because I did the circle in bitmap. Hopefully that's why. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So there we go. Just do it green and it's that. Okay, so it's the top, it's the top shade of green, which I remember. So we go on to two, we just need to do the same thing. Duplicate it, go to bitmap, paint bucket. Oh, it carries over the color. It's perfect. And why did it move it so much? Who knows? I want to make sure it doesn't move. Now it's doing that. <laughs> um, I guess I guess we just need to take this whole thing and move it down. So just take this and move it like the center I guess is that around the same area now should be hopefully kind of odd doesn't normally do that but if I just move it up a tiny little bit like that no if I do it like that there we go that that works um then on to number three duplicate costume and convert to bitmap and then color it in green level four Duplicate the costume, convert to bitmap, and color it in green. Same thing with five. Oh, what's that? <laughs> that's odd. Oh, because it made a gap. The That's kind of funny. I have to make that green as well. There we go. Then with five, just duplicate the costume, convert to bitmap, and make it green. That one, it moved. Yeah, that's so odd. I think it's just, yeah, it just does it sometimes. Oh. Yeah, it's moving that one too, which is kind of odd. So if I just move this down a bit, that should be better. Now it shouldn't be very much of a difference. No, very little difference. And this one, we want it to be green. And the last thing we have to do is we just have to rename these. So, um, just rename it red and then green, just so we know. And we're going to go through and do these with all these. And that way you know, um, that way you can physically see whether it's unlocked or not. And yet we don't even need a variable for whether it's unlocked or not because you can actually test whether it's actually on that costume. Which just saves us another variable as well. So, um, just finish doing this. And then we will, I guess, start on our first level. So, just one more. Green and red and we're gonna start on our first level so we started by doing this when space key is pressed if frog level map touching equals one and something else if that is true and also if the costume if the costume number equals so it's number two for green so and if it's two and you um, so by default, when green flag is clicked, show. And since this is the first level, we're always gonna have it. Um, we're always gonna have it unlocked. That's actually. Let me just move that down a bit. We're always gonna have it unlocked, since it is the first level after all. So, I should probably just. Um, I should probably just. Just, yeah, let's make it default to 
green because that just makes sense. So with the first one, green flag is quite we're gonna make it show and we're also going to switch the costume to green. Then when the space key is pressed, if it's if the fog is touching the first one, that's something important. Okay, let's just rewind that. So and make five is green right now. So it should not be, it should be red. One should be green. So if fog level map touching is one, so if the fog is touching the first circle and it's green, then we're gonna excuse me, then we're going to let it through. So we're gonna broadcast um let's call it level one start. Level one start because we'll need to change the backdrop and all that. And there we go. And now we're all set. So backdrop. This is the um, called the level map backdrop. Need to make a new backdrop. Just start it from scratch. <laughs> start from scratch. It's kind of funny how I'm saying that. How this how the program is called Scratch. So let's just uh, quickly just get rid of the variable. We do not need that showing, and we just need to make a new um, backdrop. So we gotta make it green. Has to still be green because if it's not green then it will not, um, I just wanna make sure it's the right color. If it's not green, then it won't work because the frog has to be touching green for it to like stop and land. It would just pass through anything that's not green. And it's not that color green even. So let's just um, go ahead and just do just like a small little path. Just like it's level one should just be like, just, just so you know how it works. So I'm literally just gonna do a path on the bottom and we have the three stars right there and then the goal at the end. So this is level one. So thing we need to do when green flag is clicked, we're going to change it to not level one. We're going to switch it to um, level map and then um, like that, do that, thank you. And then when it receives level one start, we're gonna just gonna switch it to level one. So the level one backdrop appears. Let's just say this real quick in case the internet goes bye bye. <laughs> so now that we have that, we can go ahead and keep going. So first level, like we said, just extremely simple. So now we just need to make the three different stars. So let's paint a new sprite, I guess. Actually, you know what? I think there might actually be a star in here already. I hope there is because otherwise it's probably going to be a pretty bad looking star if I have to draw it on the computer. So let's try this out. Let's see, is there a star? There is a star, which is great. So, and it even calls it star one for me and star two. And st that is literally, I would have named them that anyways. That's kind of perfect. So if we, these guys are going to have to switch position every single time we change. So first off, we need to make all these go away. So what I think I'm going to do, so I don't have to do it for every single one, is not only is it going to broadcast level one start, it's going to broadcast just generic level start. That way we don't have to do it for every single level. So because no matter what, these things are all going to have to go away. <coughs> so, um, so for, I'm going to do the same thing for all five of these when we get level start you're gonna go away so I'm just gonna drop drag and drop to these then let's test out what we have so far so if we go here actually you know what I want to do also when we when green flag is clicked for all these I'm gonna make them hide go away and then when we when any level starts any level is gonna have all three stars so when I receive level start, any level start, then it's just gonna show, and it'll have to move depending on the level as well, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. We're just gonna try doing this. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, so how about we give it a, a start, this frog a start position as well. How about we start him there? So when the green flag is clicked, well, I just want to organize this. Let's just do another one. Green flag is clicked. We want him to show and we want him to go to where he is, which it automatically does that for us. 
So if we if this guy's over here, whatever, we hit green flag, he starts there. And why is he ba oh. Because I made it the same color green as the grass. We need to change that shade of green or he will just or the frog will just bounce on it. So we just need to change all these green ones to this shade of green. So let's just do that real quick. So I make sure I did it with the green ones. Yes, I did. We just have to change them because otherwise it'll just bounce on the circles and that's not what we want it to do. Let's just do these real quick. And there we go. We should have all five done. There we go. So now, if we bring him over here and start the green fly again, he won't bounce on him. So this guy can still move around, not bouncing on anything. Going like this. Oh. And I forgot to do something else as well. <laughs> so when I when green flag is clicked, we're going to show, and it's going to go to red. It's going to go to red. The two through five are. One is always going to be green, but green flag is clicked. It's going to switch costume to red for these. So let's just, we can actually just do it in the toolbar. So it'll stay like that, but does it stay when you switch right? So no, so I'm just going to have to change it manually every time, which is perfectly fine with me. Change this to red and change this to red once we move that down. And we just have to change this to red and we'll be all set. So. If we just click, there we go. It they all become red except that one. And this one we don't even have to worry about. If it's green, we put it anyway, because why not? So if we just hit space, bam, that happens. Perfect. We have everything working so far. Now, with level one, we need to okay, star one should not these are counterintuitive. Star one through three should be in order so I can actually tell what I'm doing here. There we go. So, let's just move these down. They like to stack, and you can't read them when they're stacked. So that's kind of annoying. Um, so it's star one. They don't have to be in like perfect like distance from each other, but star one. <coughs> um, star one. We just need to make star one go there. So when I receive level star, it's gonna be different, but. When I receive level one specifically start, we're gonna make it go here. And we don't wanna drag it to the other ones because the um, the location is gonna be different for all three. And, and I don't think, no, it wouldn't update that. So let's just do this and this. So now just one more quick test once I do this. Okay, there we go. Let's just save it. So just one more quick test. If we just move these in whatever weird way we want to. Start, they go away. This guy bounces. If we do this, it doesn't work. But if we're, if we're touching nothing, then it doesn't work. But if we are touching, if we touch one and go away, it still doesn't work. But if we are touching one right now, it works. Um, and the stars go there. Perfect. So, now we just need to do where this guy, um, so, when... So when we receive, this guy has a ridiculous amount of scripts here. And I'm gonna add a new one. So, we're gonna say when I receive level one start, what we want this guy to do is we want him to move to, actually we'll have him move to like, okay, so let, let's stop. So we want him to move to like here. So he just bounces a tiny little bit. That'd be kind of cool. When I receive level one start, we're gonna have him go where he is right now. And also, what I just noticed, we don't want the guy facing left when we're going to have him going right. That'd be a bit silly. So we should just make him face right. So start, whatever. We only have to test a ton of things. We just do that. And it, why did it not switch to flag right? Oh, because it can't. Because the script doesn't let it. So we, we probably need to change. How do we get to change that? Um, Where's that script? Where's that script? Here somewhere. Am I just missing it completely? Oh, it's oh, it. Oh, what did I just do? Hopefully that's what I meant to do. Okay, so it's over here, right? So it's gonna if x velocity is greater than zero. Switch to frog right, otherwise to frog frog left. So how are we gonna make this work? So if 
I'm gonna have to do like a v but then it's just gonna okay I know what I can do stab switching it to fog right I was gonna set the x velocity to like okay this short I'm just gonna set the x velocity to like 0 0.0001 so it won't actually move but it will actually change the direction so let's try this and when I start I want it to do the same thing I wanna set it to 0 0.001 that should work yes that does and you can't really see the movement but it does make him go like that and why didn't it go where I wanted it to go 200 like that's not 200 that's why well, can't you hmm is it must be up here that's negative 229 I want it to go negative 200 just like over here is it not Oh, because when I changed the costume, it moved it a little bit. Oh, okay. So, we want it like there. So, let's edit the coordinates like it said. So, let's see. Edit it to that. And let's try this for the 15 millionth time. Let's go there. Boing. There we go. It finally... Actually, no. I didn't even try... I didn't even test out the new thing. We want to be going left, and then we hit space. And then he goes right. Yay! yay things work yay so what i need to do here is i want to make a variable called stars and what i'm thinking we only need one because if we're on a level then we'll have stars be the amount of stars we've collected on that no that wouldn't make sense <laughs> um so i'll just do stars and then total stars so stars is the amount of stars on the level. Total stars is the amount of stars on everything. So I need to do some more things here. So when the green flag is clicked, we want we want to just show total stars. We also want to set total stars to zero. Um, yes. But wait, did I? I just want to check. Yeah, when the green flag is clicked, it will set the top chain to zero. So it's good. So so it's going to set the total stars to zero and then it's going to show that but we also want to set the like level based stars just called stars to zero but we want to hide stars because we're not in a level but when we get to any level so when I receive level start not just level one start but any level start um, we're going to want it to well it's going to re it's going to set the level base stars to zero because we won't have gotten any yet um and then we're going to show the stars i'm going to hide total stars okay so this is let's test this when i do this total stars is showing and it's zero and that's it now i hit this total stars go away and stars appears good so i'm gonna have stars up in the top right corner just like i'm gonna do with total stars so it's makes more sense the location where it's in um you know what i think i'm gonna do with the level map i should probably put the words fog craft fog craft oh my gosh it's a really old minecraft series i did and that's not what i'm doing right now the word fog quest up at the top and i'm gonna do it that shade that shade because otherwise if i jump that high somehow maybe i make like power up or something if i jump that high then it would just like go crazy because it would think that was the ground so i need to do a slightly darker shade of green which i think i just already selected which i did yep um then we want to go to vectors we can edit the text once we've typed it now we're just going to call it it's going to do frog quest and then we're going to make that absolutely ginormous going all the way across the top of the screen to should is that the limit or can I go even bigger I'm going bigger because why not go bigger because you want you want that frog quest to be very obvious but not there <laughs> well actually no I can keep it there I just need to make sure that I move total stars down here like that there we go frog quest giant on the top hit space hit space I guess it's just gonna need to restart frog quest goes away there we go and I should probably put the words level 1 on the top of level 1. That might be just slightly smart. Let's go to vector mode and make... Uh, that's not what I tried to do. Well, it's what I did, but it's not what I meant, not what I meant to do. 
So let's just call it level one. And then we're just gonna make, make it absolutely ginormous. No, not, not that big, not that big. Like make it like, you know what? I'm just gonna completely undo that. Keep it at the normal ratio because otherwise it looks ugly. No, no, it's not what I'm trying to do. Please, let me, no, go away. Did that solve it? Yay. I wanna make this big, not too big. Maybe like that big. That big look, that big look good. Level one on the top, that looks good. And we'll also do something with the stars where we make it like every time you like touch a star, collects it out of the stars when you finish a level, then actually let's move these. Cause we'll need a goal at the end. Um, when you when you finish a level, all the stars you collect in that level will go to your total. Actually, we won't even need to make it do that. We'll add it to both stars and total stars. When you do it in the level, the level-based stars will just be so you can tell how many stars you have collected on that level, just just so you can see while you're playing it. I just move these because we're gonna need a goal at the end. So let's change these. Go to um to this. And I think that should be it for this episode since it's getting kind of long. It's been 21 minutes and a little bit over so far. Actually, well, if I cut stuff out, it might be less than 21 minutes. But it's been around 20 minutes so far. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next video that I'll be doing, whether it is of this or math or Minecraft or who knows. But you'll see. Goodbye.